So welcome to Mindful Monday. My name is Alicia. If you are new here, Mindful Monday, we do 10 minutes of EFT tapping. We're going to do the theme or topic of releasing victim mentality today that was requested. Then we're going to do 10 minutes of creative expression. And then we will do 10 minutes of reading. We'll get started on our EFT tapping. You can just follow along with me. I tap on one side and then switch. You can tap on both sides at once if you want. You can tap just on one side. There's no wrong way to do it. Okay, so go ahead and start tapping on your karate chop point. And we are tapping on the theme of releasing victim mentality. Okay. Even though I feel like everything is happening to me. I choose to show respect and compassion to myself. And even though I feel like nothing ever works out for me, I choose to completely love and accept myself. as well as anyone else connected to this. All this pain all this helplessness all this hopelessness Why does this keep happening to me? Why is life so unfair? It seems like nothing ever goes my way. And I have no control over what happens to me. I feel completely powerless in my life. Whatever I am feeling is valid. And I allow myself to process it all now. Starting now, I reject and release any victim mentality. And I take my power back in my life. I take charge of my own life and future. Because I am the creator of my reality. I am no longer a victim of my past or current circumstances. And I know the world is not out to get me. In fact, everything and everyone is working in my favor.
I am powerful and capable of making a difference in my life. I know I have the ability to do anything I set my mind to. I have the right to be happy and free. So I forgive myself and others for past mistakes. I know I have rights. I know I have choices. And I choose to no longer react to unfavorable circumstances. I manage my thoughts, feelings, and behaviors with ease. Now I feel empowered, strong, and capable. I have the right to say no to anything I don't like. And I choose to focus my attention on the good in my life. I am committed to standing in my power. And choosing myself every day. Because everything is always working out for me. And I now know and feel the truth of this all. Mind, body, and soul. Then take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And if you have water nearby, grab a drink of water. All right, everybody, we are going to switch gears here. We're going to do our activity, which is 10 minutes of creativity. So uh, that can be uh, coloring, writing, drawing, freeform dance, turning on some music, um, anything that you deem is Connecting yourself with your creative energy. You can sit in silence if you like to. Whatever, whatever feels good for you. All right, everybody. We are going to continue on with the reading of Power of Now. We are picking up where we left off. And that is at the section called Negativity and Suffering Have Their Roots in Time. But the belief that the future will be better than the present is not always an illusion. The present can be dreadful and things can get better in the future, and often they do. Usually, the future is a replica of the past. Superficial changes are possible, but real transformation is rare and depends upon whether you can become present enough to dissolve the past by accessing the power of the now. 
What you perceive as future is an intrinsic part of your state of consciousness now. If your mind carries a heavy burden of past, you will experience more of the same. The past perpetuates itself through lack of presence. The quality of your consciousness at this moment is what shapes the future, which of course can only be experienced as the now. You may win $10 million, but that kind of change is no more than skin deep. You would simply continue to act out the same conditioned patterns in more luxurious surroundings. Humans have learned to split the atom. Instead of killing 10 or 20 people with a wooden club, one person can now kill a million just by pushing a button. Is that real change? If it is the quality of your consciousness at this moment that determines the future, then what is it that determines the quality of your consciousness? Your degree of presence. So the only place where true change can occur and where the past can be dissolved is the now. All negativity is caused by an accumulation of psychological time and denial of the present. Unease, anxiety, tension, stress, worry, all forms of fear are caused by too much future and not enough presence. Guilt, regret, resentment, grievances, sadness, bitterness, and all forms of non-forgiveness are caused by too much past and not enough presence. Most people find it difficult to believe that a state of consciousness totally free of all negativity is possible, and yet this is the liberated state to which all spiritual teachings point. It is the promise of salvation, not in an illusory future, but right here and now. You might find it hard to recognize that time is the cause of your suffering or your problems. You believe that they are caused by specific situations in your life, and seen from a conventional viewpoint, this is true. But until you have dealt with the basic problem-making dysfunction of the mind, its attachment to past and future and denial of the now, problems are actually interchangeable. If all your problems or perceived causes of suffering or unhappiness were miraculously removed for you today, but you had not become more present, more conscious, you would soon find yourself with a similar set of problems or causes of suffering, like a shadow that follows you wherever you go. Ultimately, there is only one problem, the time-bound mind itself. I cannot believe that I could ever reach a point where I am completely free of my problems. You are right. You can never reach that point because you are at that point now. There is no salvation in time. You cannot be free in the future. Presence is the key to freedom, so you can only be free now. Finding the life underneath your life situation. I don't see how I can be free now. As it happens, I am extremely unhappy with my life at the moment. This is a fact, and I would be deluding myself if I tried to convince myself that all is well when it definitely isn't. To me, the present moment is very unhappy. It is not liberating at all. What keeps me going is the hope or possibility of some improvement in the future. You think that your attention is in the present moment when it's actually taken up completely by time. You cannot be both unhappy and fully present in the now. What you refer to as your life should more accurately be called your life situation. It is psychological time, past and future. Certain things in the past didn't go the way you wanted them to go. You are still resisting what happened in the past and now you are resisting what is. Hope is what keeps you going, but hope keeps you focused on the future, and this continued focus perpetuates your denial of the now, and therefore your unhappiness. It is true that my present life situation is the result of things that happened in the past, but it is still my present situation, and being stuck in it is what makes me unhappy. Forget about your life situation for a while and pay attention to your life. What is the difference? Your life situation exists in time. Your life is now. Your life situation is mind stuff. 
your life is real. Find the narrow gate that leads to life. It is called the now. Narrow your life down to this moment. Your life situation may be full of problems. Most life situations are. But find out if you have any problem at this moment. Not tomorrow or in 10 minutes, but now. Do you have a problem now? When you are full of problems, there is no room for anything new to enter. No room for a solution. So whenever you can, make some room. Create some space so that you can find the life underneath your life situation. Use your senses fully. Be where you are. Look around. Just look, don't interpret. See the light, shapes, colors, textures. Be aware of the silent presence of each thing. Be aware of the space that allows everything to be. Listen to the sounds, don't judge them. Listen to the silence underneath the sounds. Touch something, anything, and feel and acknowledge its being. Observe the rhythm of your breathing. Feel the air flowing in and out. Feel the life energy inside your body. Allow everything to be within and without. Allow the isness of all things move deeply into the now. You are leaving behind the deadening world of mental abstraction of time. You are getting out of the insane mind that is draining you of life energy, just as it is slowly poisoning and destroying the earth. You are awakening out of the dream of time into the present. All problems are illusions of the mind. It feels as if a heavy burden has been lifted, a sense of lightness. I feel clear. But my problems are still there waiting for me, aren't they? They haven't been solved. Am I not just temporarily evading them? If you found yourself in paradise, it wouldn't be long before your mind would say, yes, but. Ultimately, this is not about solving your problems. It's about realizing that there are no problems. Only situations to be dealt with now or to be left alone and accepted as part of the isness of the present moment until they change or can be dealt with. Problems are mind made and need time to survive. They cannot survive in the actuality of the now. Focus your attention on the now and tell me what problem you have at this moment. I am not getting any answer because it is impossible to have a problem when your attention is fully in the now. A situation that needs to be either dealt with or accepted, yes. Why make it into a problem? Why make anything into a problem? Isn't life challenging enough as it is? What do you need problems for? The mind unconsciously loves problems because they give you an identity of sorts. This is normal and it is insane. Problem means that you are dwelling on a situation mentally without there being a true intention or possibility of taking action now and that you are unconsciously making it part of your sense of self. You become so overwhelmed by your life situation that you lose your sense of life, of being. Or you are carrying in your mind the insane burden of a hundred things that you will or may have to do in the future instead of focusing your attention on the one thing that you can do now. When you create a problem, you create pain. All it takes is a simple choice, a simple decision. No matter what happens, I will create no more pain for myself. I will create no more problems. Although it is a simple choice, it is also very radical. You won't make that choice unless you are truly fed up with suffering, unless you have truly had enough, and you won't be able to go through with it unless you access the power of the now. If you create no more pain for yourself, then you create no more pain for others. You also no longer contaminate the beautiful earth, your inner space, and the collective human psyche with the negativity of problem making. And that is where we will stop for today. I'm going to pull a mindful message, a collective mindful message for you all to take with you before we wrap it up completely for Mindful Monday. Okay. 
So what do we need to know? I don't do this every day. I do this every week on Mondays. Okay. Ooh, I like this card. All right. So the card that came out says balance. Oh, look, I'm giving the card some filter. <laughs> balance. I surround myself with people I love and enjoy my time with them, but I also take time to nurture my relationship with myself. I have found a healthy balance between being with friends and having self-care time. So that, take it as it resonates, is your mindful message for today. And that will bring Mindful Monday to a close for today.